eyes for isoflavones. If you're wondering what isoflavones are, stay with me because I'm about to explain. Isoflavones are plant-based compounds that mimic the hormone estrogen. Estrogen is directly linked to how much bone turnover women have. When a woman goes through menopause, she has a large drop off in estrogen, which consequently leads to a large drop off in bone density. So back to isoflavones, which are also known as phytoestrogens. There's some research about isoflavones being used instead of more traditional hormone replacement therapies. But this is an area of emerging research, and it's not yet conclusive how effective this is. What studies are showing is that food sources and supplements with isoflavones do help increase bone density. A handful of studies have shown that individuals who take soy isoflavone supplements daily have had a significant increase in bone mineral density and a decrease in bone resorption. However, these studies showed no significant effect on bone formation markers. Results varied significantly from person to person based on menopausal status, supplement type, the dose of the isoflavones, and the duration of the intervention. One study indicated that a dose of 75 milligrams per day was needed to achieve results. So while the long-term effects of isoflavones has yet to be fully tested, there is some indication that soy-based isoflavones could be a significant help to a bone building lifestyle. The best source of isoflavones is soy. So foods like raw or cooked soybeans, soy-based meat substitutes, miso, soy chips, soy yogurt, and tofu contain between 20 and 120 milligrams of isoflavones per serving. Other good sources of isoflavones include red clover, chickpeas, peanuts, green tea, split peas, lima beans, fava beans, lentils, and flax seeds. Please share this list with someone that you know and love to help promote osteoporosis awareness. Talk soon.